In this video, you will learn how to post charges to an event for a block. In Opera Cloud, go to Bookings, Events, and then select Event Posting. Now, I can click Modify the Search Criteria to enter the block ID, the block name, or the event ID to search for events. To view the events for this morning, I could enter a time. For example, if I enter 8 a.m., I would see all the events after 8 a.m. In this example, I enter the block ID to view all the events for the block, and then click Search. The event search criteria displays at the top of the page. To post event charges, the events must have a Posting Master checked in, and the events must be in the actual status. I can select the Transaction Code magnifying glass to change the transaction code for the revenue charge. The available transaction codes depend on the property's configuration. The system administrator configures for revenue type mapping to determine which transaction codes are available based on the event type, space, catering value, or the revenue type. Next, I select the checkbox at the top of the list to select all of the revenue charges, and then click Post to post the charges to the event. Now, enter your cashiering ID and PIN, which is required to post charges to an event, and then click Login. Now, I see the charges display in a green color. This indicates the charges are now posted to the event. Let's take a look at how to create a banquet check for the event. I select the checkbox next to the revenue amount and then click the I want to menu. Click banquet check to create the banquet check for this block. If multiple accounts or contacts are linked to the block, I can click either the bank account or the point of contact magnifying glass to select the relevant accounts that will print on the back of the banquet check. I can select the checkbox to break the page per day, include the PMS posting, or I can select to display the discount on the banquet check. I can also select the printing method to display the revenue summary, or I can specify the currency that prints on the banquet check. Next, I can select to preview, email, or to download the banquet check. In this example, I select Preview and then click Process. Now, I see the banquet check I just created for this block. Click Close to go back to the application. Let's take a look at how to review the guest's billing charges. In this example, I will go to the next event by clicking the event ID. If the guest has a question about what's posted to their Posting Master account for the event, I can go to Billing to see exactly what's posted to the guest folio. Then click the I want to menu and click Billing. Now enter your cashiering ID and PIN and click Login. In Billing, I can view the guest charges on the folio.